What's up, Sport Life? This is Coach Sports. This is Coach Liam. And we're with... Luke. Renahan. Renahan. Yes, sir. And we're here to ask him a few questions. Skeeto, excuse me. We're here to ask him a few questions about camp and, let's just say, about life. So, Luke, is this your first time at camp? No, it isn't. Okay, how many times have you been at camp? Three years. Three years? Okay, so you're a vet. You're a vet. You know how it works. You like it. You love camp. So who would you say is your favorite coach? Uh, Coach Liam. Coach Liam. Ooh, I'll pass to Coach Liam then. Well, what an honor. Absolute honor to be your favorite coach, Luke. Seeing that you have an absolute beautiful mullet, please show it to the camera. Give it a, give it a little shake over there. Shake. Oh, yeah. Look at that movement. Yeah, seeing that you have that absolute beautiful mullet. First of all, I want to know, where do you get it done? Uh, Venom, I think. Venom? Venom Barbershop? Uh, I think. Very nice. That's a great spot to go. Where would where do you think you would fit in best with your mullet? Nashville? Maybe the sport life in Nashville? What about Texas? I heard, uh, I heard they had some good mullets in Texas. Nashville. Nashville, Nashville. I'm super confident. Let's go, Jenna. Stay on your land! Let's go! 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 Let's go!
Coach Chainer. I don't know what it is either, friends. Grand Chambers, uh, there's a rumor going around camp today. Um, I think it was started by you, actually, that your favorite food is grilled cheese. Is that true? No. Okay. What is your favorite food? Probably uh, Hunan dumplings. Hunan dumplings? It's like uh, peanut butter dumplings. Peanut butter dumplings. And what do you say to those who have peanut butter allergies? Then probably don't eat it. Stick to general cow. So you're a big, uh, I would say, Chinese food kind of guy. Honestly, all the cultures. I I like to, I like to find like, like, I feel like food expresses culture. Wow, food does express culture. Let's have a quick top five Grant Chambers patent pending rankings of his favorite foods from around the world. What would be number one? I would assume these Unan dumplings you spoke of, peanut butter dumplings. Yeah. Number two. Ooh, I have to go with my own culture here. I have to go with Portu Portuguese food. I like, uh, I like, uh, I like nachos. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm going to trust that you were correct in the pronunciation. Number three, Grand Chambers. Um, I, I like, uh, I like, like, Italian food, so I'd go with pasta and rosé sauce. Did you know Kamish Helen is Italian? I thought she was Greek. Her Let's move on to the next step, uh, next question. I, I think we're gotten off a little to off topic here, Grand Chambers. Final question, and this is an important one. Something I've been wondering for at least three days now. How many bucket hats do you have at home? For me, uh, so I I only I have two, but one's too small for me. So technically, I only really have one bucket hat for myself. Might I say, Grand Chambers, you have the perfect head for a bucket hat. Thank you for joining me under this pine tree. Have a great lunch. Is, is that a compliment? Or is that a... It's a fantastic compliment. I don't have the kind of bucket head hat. I have a cowboy head hat. Go Sharks? Go Sharks. Blech.